Okay, so today we're going to go over hodo. And hodo is used in a lot of um, expressions in Japanese. It means kind of as much as or to the extent. Um, it's used quite frequently like that. So you have words like hodo yoi, which means like as good as, and uh, hodo chikai, which means close to, hodo toi, which means far away from. Um, so in this case, we're looking at as a sentence. Inu no design wa neko no design hodo suki janai desu. Inu no design wa neko no design hodo suki janai desu. And what this means is, I don't like the dog design as much as the cat design. <clears throat> and we can just say like Neko wa inu hodo skin janai desu. I don't like cats as much as dogs. Okay? Neko wa inu hodo skin jirai desu. Or neko wa inu hodo yokunai desu. Cats are not as good as dogs. Okay? Then we have this vocab. And this is onedan. Or just nedan is price. Then we have uh, design. I put a D there. Design. Design. <clears throat> and then you have this right here, seiru. Most Japanese do not use seiru. They usually will use uh, They usually use campaign. Yeah, campaign. You know, which sounds kind of weird, but they'll usually say campaign chu or something like that. Campaign. Uh, iro iro means various, and again, teaching that this is color, iro, and the multiplier. So this is iro iro various. Iro iro. <clears throat> Hoka means other. So a lot of times you'll see this question, like someone will say, I not that what? What color do you like? And the person will say, Oh, aoi desu. I like blue. And then the person will say, Hoka wa? What about other colors? Right? Hoka wa? So what about other ones? Or others? And then they teach, Arigato gozaimashita, which everyone knows. So this is the verb, kuraberu. So kuraberu. Kind of looks, this is the kanji for kuraberu. And this is to compare. Okay. Kuraberu. <clears throat> then we've got onaji. Onaji. Onaji, which means the same. And uh, chigao. Oh, I'm going to have a hard time remembering Chigao. Eto. Chigao. Chigao or Chigai. So Chigai is a mistake. Chigao means to be mistaken. And so you'll also hear Chigai mas as well. So someone will say, you know, anata wa France jin desu ka? Are you French? Uh, yeah, chigaimasu. America jin desu. Okay, so that's used very commonly for, um, for when someone makes a mistake. Ie chigaimasu. No, that's wrong. Ie chigaimasu. So that is chapter 9 too. They also teach sen and man, which of course, it's kind of funny to see the swastika brought in there. But the swastika actually has its own symbol. The manji. It's called manji. If you type it into your computer, manji, you'll see the symbol come up. But manji actually evolved into man or 10,000. 
and then also stem, which is thousand, right? Um, the funny thing about Japanese is that they have these counter words. So you have ichi, <clears throat> ju, hyaku, sen, man. And then from that, it goes juman, hyakuman, uh, senman, and then it turns to ichioku, which I think is 100 million. So man kind of dominates for a long time. So ichiban, <clears throat> 10,000, juman, 100,000, senman, wait, hyakuman, a million, senman, 100 million, wait, 10 million, and then Ichioku is 100 million. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so they teach that. So your assignment, um, I don't think they really teach anything else other than clothing sizes are different in America and Japan. So, yeah, that's very true. XL in Japan is, is kind of like an L in America. I know. If you want to check out some cool Japanese clothing, they have a site called Uniqlo. And you can check it out here. And they have shipping in America. They have stores in America, too. I think they have one in Atlanta, but I'm not sure. So if you want to check it out, Uniqlo is a really nice place to find kind of Japanese style, styled, styled clothing. All right. <clears throat> so I think that's it for today. What I'm going to assign you is... B, uh, on chapter 9-2, page 262-B, what you're going to do is formulate, either you can answer with hodo or yoi. Okay, hodo or yoi. So let's do the first one together, just to look at what it is. Number one, you got sports using Joseph. Okay, so first we're going to ask the question, which sport are you better at? Okay, so let's see here. We're going to do Saka. Amefuto. Right? Saka to Amefuto. That's what we're comparing. Okay? So Saka to Amefuto de. What? Right? So as for soccer and football, we can use dochi or dochira. Dochira no ho ga. Let's just go ahead and use the kanji for it. Jozu desu ka. Okay, so saka to ame futo, futo de wa. Which are you better at? Okay. And then the answer can use either yori or it can use hodo. So remember with yori, <clears throat> blank no ho ga blank yori. Jose's. Right? So A is better than B. Now, if you were to say A wa B hodo Jose janai des, then obviously a is not as good as B. So let's go ahead and try both con constructs. And let's say uh, I personally am better at soccer, right? So I would say Saka, Saka no ho, and this is of course in this kanji, no ho wa <clears throat> amefuto. Yori Jose this. Again, I'll use the kanji there. Okay. So Saka Saka no ho wa amefuto yori Jose this. Let's look at the other construction. Amefuto wa.
is a more dismissive one. So this is literally like, yeah, I'm not as good as I am as soccer, right? This is more assertive. So yeah, I'm better at soccer than American football. Soccer the whole lot. Amefto yori jozes. This one, amefto wa soccer hodo jozu jinai desu. I'm not as good in American football as I am in soccer. Okay, so that's the example of number one. I'll put that in the doc for you. Hope this makes sense. If not, you know, email me, ask me a question, put a comment on there because that will always show up in my email as well. <coughs> and good luck.